The last screen type that I would like to put onto here is I'd like to put on a form. So forms are things that people obviously fill in all the time when they're ordering takeaway on their phones or when they're filling out a contact us form to send somebody an email, this kind of thing. So we're going to find out how to add one. So I'm going to add a new item here and I'm going to call it contact us just like this and then I'm going to browse for an icon and let's just find a quick app icon for contact us is there something in here no so I'd need to create an upload one but I'm going to choose the Xbox controller just for the moment obviously you can make a better choice and we're going to put in the text get in touch and save that so we can see now we've got the contact us screen down here and we can navigate to it what we can now do is we can add in some of these items here so I might put in an input box for example and the title would be your name if I can spell there we are and you've got to give it a name so that we can do things with it later on so I'm going to say username here and default value well actually I'm going to leave it blank if I tick the password option then when we type in it it will be starred out we'll see that in just a second so I save it your name lovely and I'm going to put another one and this one I am going to call password like this and password and I'm going to tick the password box and press save so now I can come into here I can write Mr Powell obviously on a phone the on screen keyboard would pop up and then I could put in my password it's not my real password but you can see it stars it out just like that now you can also put on things like check boxes which you could say contact me there and give it a name there so this is what you see on screen this is what the computer refers to it as now you can't have spaces and things in here it's best to choose something short so we can I also set the default value so should it be ticked by default or unticked save and there we are and we can click on that and unclick on that that's fine so we fill all these out and we can also have switches and we can have selection boxes and radio buttons where you choose between items all sorts of things in a free text area a date picker you can even have it capture an image like this so your photo there we are and we'll save photo now you could have it to capture video and also to capture audio and let's just leave it called capture and then you would have that app captured now this doesn't work when we just look at this over the web but you if you had it installed on your phone properly via the app store then that would work so you could click and do a photo capture now obviously after the, all of this we're going to need a couple of buttons so we can say submit and save that button and now we have a submit button at the end which we can click now the question is what does that button do and this is where we can start to program so if I now edit that button again up in the action menu you've got all sorts of things so we could set an email that's absolutely fine and it would just send that email and it would send it to my address I'm not sure if I want that but we can also change it to do a whole load of other things so one of the things we can change it to do is we can use a language called Blockly to program it we can use JavaScript if you know JavaScript already to program it you can tell them to make a phone call based on that item all of these things are possible however I think the best one for actually doing an email or something similar 
is to start to use Blockly. Now we're going to go into this in a lot more detail in other videos, but I'd just like to show you a couple of things about how it works. So if I click on JavaScript and I say alert, and then I'm going to click on text, and I'm going to put in the text of the alert, and I'm going to say gotcha. Now, I can save that, and then when I click on the submit button, you can see the message comes up, gotcha. You can program this to send emails and all sorts of other things, and I'll be giving you some fairly standard programs that you can copy for your use, and then you can start to adapt them to make them do what you want to do. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you on the next video.